Good morning, guys. How's it going? Uh, what is it? It's about 8.30 on a Tuesday. And one thing, um, and, and I'm putting this video up, and it's going to be on YouTube later, and it's something I want to share with a lot of y'all. When all this pandemic stuff started happening, when all this virus stuff started happening, and they did something that, in the ministry of mine, uh, I learned from a very young age, uh, uh, if you're dealing with students, one of the places they are at the school. Most schools are canceled. Most schools are not in session. They're doing uh, distance learning. Uh, they're adjusting the way we have to in our church buildings and, and having to adjust, dis, uh, do some distance learning. So the school buildings are are empty. Uh, yeah, you'll see staff there possibly, but uh, no students at all. No students whatsoever. So, uh, as I said, one of the things I was taught when I began to learn student ministry uh, was if you're going to be a student minister, you probably need to be where students are. So, in the town of Hedgesville, I'm over here at Hedgesville Middle School right now. And uh, I see construction people are using their parking lot for, you know, putting some of their stuff here. But I'm at this school every Tuesday uh, for something called a lunch group, and I meet with a couple other students. Um, Berkeley County's got a wonderful program. Uh, I passed a background check. Uh, the thing I was worried about was getting into schools legally. I just didn't want to be one of those Christians who thinks I just can walk in or whatever. I wanted to make sure uh, the administration knew I was there. I wanted to make sure the administration was comfortable with me being there. And um, Berkeley County has a wonderful program where I went, went in, did my background check through the schools, and was able to go there. And they utilize, this school utilized me very well when it comes to meeting with other students. And they put me in a room some called lunch groups where I get to talk to other students and play board games and stuff like that. It's a really good time. So as you can tell, a lot of the students, uh, the building is empty. A lot of these students, middle school is an awkward year. Um, I think everybody will admit that even when you were in middle school, you know, you were awkward. And a lot of these students going through, uh, possibly a living hell at their house. Uh, a lot of them probably missing school right now, missing a lot of their friends. They're right now they're they're not in a safety place like the school. Some of them may not be getting lunches right now. Some of them you just don't know what their home life is. But every Tuesday I'm able to come and talk to some of them talk, uh, show them a little bit of Jesus uh, by not talking about Jesus is, is the cool part. But we don't, the the students here are uh, remarkable. The administration here is good, really good too. I love dealing with them. They deal with me pretty well. Um, a little, a little uh, story as more, as more dump trucks pass right by me. A uh, little story about when I walked in. I walk in about ten o'clock every morning, and at this time the uh, the UPS guy was walking in with me. So you know, we we rung I, we rung the buzzer, and the lady, when she started getting to know me, went, oh, "It's you again." She was just playing around, rung the buzzer. She let us in. And we were just curious, who, should, who was she talking to? She goes, both of y'all. <laughs> so they treat me like an extended family member, which is really awesome. Um, and the students here, we at our church, we have students to go to school here. So the, and we have uh, teachers and coaches here that pour into middle schoolers, those, those awkward years, as I call them, but those uh, really fun years as well. They, because they ask you so many funny, silly, whatever questions, and then they'll they'll tell you really weird stories and really good kids uh, go to school here, and you know 
right now this this is what's hurting me during this pandemic is not being able to walk in there on Tuesdays, walking to the middle school on Tuesdays. So so we're this is gonna be on YouTube later today, but if you're watching this live, uh we're gonna pray for Hedgesville Middle because I mean these students need prayer because that's about the only thing we can do right now. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you so much for the students and administration and people that uh, deal with uh, sixth through eighth graders, God. God, thank you so much for the ability they have to be principals and and be uh, secretaries and, and, and teachers and and deal with uh, students of all walks and, and all different learning uh, learning capacities, God. And God, we pray that you keep these students safe and you get them to go uh, and move on to their uh, schooling. We pray safety for the students who uh, may not be living in a good home right now, who may not have the safety of this school. Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you. And we ask that you just keep the students and staff here at the Hedgesville Middle safe and just show your love. Uh, through this time when they're not in school. Thank you so much for your grace and love. In your name, pray. Amen. All right, guys. See you later. I'll be back in actually a few minutes. You'll see what I'm doing next. Later.